نحمده ونستعين ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات عمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم Verily all praise and all thanks are due to Allah We praise him, we thank him and we seek his help We seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of ourselves and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our sins Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides no one can misguide. And whomsoever Allah leads astray, no one can guide. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was his final messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran al-Kareem, يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of the importance of being God conscious. Allah reminds us to secure ourselves from dying outside of the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, outside of the submission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to be God conscious and always speak that which is right. If we speak that which is right, it will benefit us in this dunya and it will benefit us in the, in the akhirah. Allah will manage our affairs and forgive us our sins. And then Allah says, whomsoever obeys Allah and his messenger will definitely obtain the ultimate success. May Allah make us amongst, amongst the successful of Muhammad. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a great day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he is the one that selects. He is the one that chooses. And he is the one that selects, and he sweared by the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Right? And in the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, he is the one that selected in, in those 10 days to have Yom Arafah, the day of Arafah. And he is the, the one also that selects what is the fadl, what is the virtue, what is the benefit of that day. And with the hujjaj, they're, they're there pleading to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking his forgiveness. And the, the Prophet said that this is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves many, many people from the hellfire. So also for us, there is a benefit. So in that note, in that note, I would like to talk a little bit about accountability and seeking forgiveness before it's too late. Brothers and sisters, in taking the time to get in to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's never time wasted. You can seek, you can read a small book about who is Allah, and you can continue learning about Allah, learning about Allah, learning about Allah, and you will never get enough. If we think that we know Allah, 
and we are, you assess yourself. Am I obedient to Allah? Am I submitting to Allah? If we're not obedient to Allah, if we're not submitting to Allah, then we don't know Allah. Because the more we know Allah, the more we develop this khushu'ah, right? this khashiyah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us of his ability, of his qudra. Right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الَّذِي هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ هو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش يعلم ما يلج في الأرض وما يخرج منها وما ينزل من السماء وما يعرج فيها وهو معكم أينما كنتم والله بما تعملون بصير Allah tells us of his ability to create the heavens and the earth in six days. And he tells us that he rose in the, in the throne. How? In a manner that suits his majesty. Allah alam how. Right? But he rose. ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ And he says, يَعْلَمُ He knows. He knows what penetrates the earth and what comes out from the earth and what descends from the heavens and what goes up to the heavens he is well aware of all that and he is well aware of you wherever you are right basir. so if Allah has all this ability then he says and of you little human Right? He is well aware of everything that you do. He has that ability to create the heavens and the earth in six days. How long do we take to build a house? Not six days. But Allah is able to create the heavens and the earth in six days. And rise and raise to the, rise himself to the throne. Allah subhanahu wa also says. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُ وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ And we, and verily, we created man. Or we created human beings. And we know what his soul whispers to himself. And we are closer to him than his jugular vein. Look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then if anyone, even of the youth, wants to go and look into what is the importance of the jugular vein. And look at the images of the jugular vein in the, in, in the body. And once you look at it, and you get amazed by what you learn, praise Allah. Say, subhanallah, how far and perfect is Allah from imperfection. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has that ability to know, because he created us, created the heavens and the earth, right? Knows what goes in the earth, what comes out from the earth, what comes out, what comes down from the heaven, what goes up to the heaven, and he created you, and he knows what, what's going on within yourself. And he is closer to you than your jugular vein. Then he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has that ability, he knows. Right? He knows what's in your heart. But as a hujjah, as a proof for us or against us, he sends his messengers. Right? Because he says he does not destroy a, a nation unless a warning, a warner comes to them. So he sends the messenger, he sent Noah, alayhi salam, the people rejected Noah, then they were destroyed. <coughs> he sent Prophet Musa, alayhi salam, they rejected Prophet Musa, alayhi salam, they were destroyed. This is a bag of candy. So, 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has another hujjah, another proof for us or against us. And this proof, Hiram and Katibin, the noble scribes, the two angels that are jotting down. The one on the right jots down the good, the one on the left writes down the bad. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of the angels writing down because his knowledge encompasses all. But just as the Mufassirin said that as a hujja, as a proof, to show us our proof, to show us our proof for us or against us. So Allah subhanahu wa says, إِذْ يَتَلَقَّ الْمُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ قَائِدِ When two receivers, when the two angels receive, one is on the right and one is on the left. So brothers and sisters, now you, because Juma, we're limited with time, right? So you get an idea, a reminder of, from Allah, not from me, I'm just sharing whatever is in Allah's book, a reminder of Allah's qudra, of Allah's ability, and a reminder that there are noble scribes writing down everything that we do. They wrote down, mashallah, that you came for Jummah. They wrote down the dua that you were saying on the road. They wrote down the change of schedule that you made just to make it to Allah's house. Right? Allah, they write down that you're sitting in this sajada and it will witness for you, inshallah, on the Day of Judgment. That you sat there and you're sitting in worship. And then your salah is worship. All that. Now, brothers and sisters, ask. Juma is not lengthy enough like a movie. It's not two hours, three hours. So I will give you two traders. Right? Two traders. One trader is titled The Criminal's Book. <coughs> and the other trader, The Book of the Righteous. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he did, when he explained this, is, if you read it and you understand it, you can visualize it. That's the, that's, the, that's the beauty and the miracle of the Qur'an. That when you read it and understand it, you can see it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Kahf, وَوُضِيَ الْكِتَابِ وَوُضِيَ الْكِتَابُ فَتَرَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِيهِ وَيَقُولُونَ وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا وَوَجَدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا and the record is placed open so that the criminals can see, so that the evildoers can see. And when they see mushfiqina, khaifina, when they see it, they see it fearful. They see it and they fear what they see. They see and they say, they, they, they're fearful of what they see, and they say, Ya وَيَقُولُونَ Ya وَيْلَتَنَا Which means, when he said, Wail, is destruction to me. Would that I would destroy. What book is this? Mani هذا الكتاب What kind of book is this? لا يغادر it does not leave. It does not miss something small or something big. Except that is documented, ahsaha and enumerated. It's also numbered. And they will find in that book 
everything that they did. وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا And Allah does not wrong anyone. Allah does not wrong anyone. So this is trailer number one. The book given to the, the book, the criminal's book. Trailer number two, the book of the righteous. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Haqq, Allah says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمُقْرَأُ كِتَابِيَ إِنِّي ظَنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَ فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَادِيَ فِي جَنَّةٍ عَالِيَ So as for those given the book in the right hand. The one that receives the book says, ha umukrao kitabiya, meaning, here, look at my book. Ha umukrao. Right, because it's saying, ha, all of you, whoever is walking by is so excited. Here, read my book. Read my book. Ha umukrao kitabiya. Inni zanantu. Wa fi far. In the words anantu, للمؤمن يقين وللكافر شك The word ظننتو Here is the إني ظننتو أني ملاق نسابي I was sure that I was going to get my accounts But for the non-believer For the one that rejects Allah knowingly When he has ظن This ظن is شك Is doubt this dhan is shak. And he says, I was certain that I was going to receive my account. So he will have, he will be in a pleasant life. فَهُوَ فِي عَيْشَةٍ رَادِيَةٍ Aina, Where will he be in this pleasant life? In Paradise? Hmm? In Hollywood? In Paris? Where? Where will you be in this pleasant land? Fi jannatin aliyah. Fi jannatin aliyah. In the elevated gardens. In Jannah. Right? Khalidina fiha. They will abide there forever. Brothers and sisters, there is a moment in Jannah when the dua is accepted. Aqulu qali hada wa astaghfirullahu li wa lakum. Fa astaghfiruhu innahu al-ghafuru rahim. Astaghfirullahu wa sallam. 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 الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. In the name of Allah, all praise and thanks are due to Allah. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon His final messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, his companions, and all those who follow him until the day of judgment. Brothers and sisters, we have given one a reminder of Allah subhanahu wa taala's قدرة of His ability to create the heavens and the earth and of his ability to know everything that we do. And second, we mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's proof for us or against us in appointing two angels to jot down everything that we do, good or bad. And number three, we show right, two trailers of how would it be when the criminals and the evil doers will get their book, and how would it be when the righteous and the good doers when they get their book. Now, brothers and sisters, today is the ninth of Dhul Hijjah, Yom Arafah. And on this day, 
the Hojas, the pilgrims, gather to fulfill this <coughs> rite from the rites of the Hajj, and they they zoom in. They don't zoom out. They zoom in on what is important. And they come to a realization because believing in the Quran and in what the Quran said and the Day of Judgment, no relations will benefit us. No wealth will benefit us. So they zoom in and they think about their relationship with Allah. And how much they would like for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them their sins. So the as we read in, in Sahih Muslim, that for the people of knowledge, they consider, as, a, as the Prophet said, the recommendation of fasting in the day of Arafah. For those that are not in Arafah. For those that are not in Arafah, it's recommended to fast. But if you're not fasting, because it's not suhoor time, right? then you can still benefit from this day. Don't think, khalas, I lost my day. That I, you can still benefit. It was making dua, we're making. So the, 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 the second part of this khutbah is focus on maghfir, forgiveness. Seeking forgiveness from Allah SWT. The Prophet ﷺ said, that as for you staying till the evening in Arafah, Allah descends to the to the Samad dunya, right? To the lowest heaven. And he boasts to his angels. And he says, My slaves have come to me looking all rough and looking all coming from the deep valley hoping for my mercy. And he says, so if your sins are equivalent to the amount of sand in the desert, or if your sins are equivalent to the drops of rain, or if your sins are equivalent to the foam on the sea, I will forgive them. So go forth, my servants, having forgiveness. This is, subhanAllah, look at this bushra, with this glad tiding of you having hope of standing, and our brothers and sisters standing in Arafah making dua, and Allah subhanahu wa is looking at them. The Prophet also said, if anyone constantly seeks forgiveness from Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make a way out for him from distress. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at that, just making astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, and meaning it. Constantly making it step far. Not only when you make a mistake, make a step, do extra step far. So he says, Allah SWT will relieve his anxiety and will provide him with sustenance from where he cannot expect it. Allah SWT says, Qul, say, tell them, O Muhammad, inform them, Ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Say, O oh Muhammad, say, O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves, do not despair in the mercy of Allah. Verily, Allah forgives all sins. Verily, He is the All Forgiver, the Merciful. So brothers and sisters, do not despair. Do not lose hope in Allah's Rahmah. 
Do not lose hope that Allah SWT can restore your condition no matter what chaos is going on in here, in your home, in yourself. Allah SWT has the ability to restore your condition to a noble condition. But you have to turn to Him and seek forgiveness from Him sincerely. Make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sincere tawbah. Brothers and sisters, let's make this day of Arafat. Let's make it count. Let's look at our schedule and let's take little moments within our busy schedule to have some different. A little bit after salah, in the car, with the family, by yourself, even hiding away from your spouse. Let your spouse not even know between you and Allah. Let your spouse wonder why are you acting so nice? Because you went in secret to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, we have to sincerely strive to strengthen our Iman. To strengthen our Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator, the All Capable. We must strengthen our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who has the ability to appoint two angels to jot down everything that we do. We have to strengthen our Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is able to turn the mountain like wool, like cotton. Those huge mountains, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to remove them from their place. We have to strengthen our Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all capable, the all knower of our feelings. The all, know, the all knower, the one who's well aware of our true self. We have to strengthen our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all knower. And we have to strengthen our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the merciful, the all forgiven, the capable of granting us his forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, says, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَىٰ مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ We began talking about taqwa, and we end with taqwa, God consciousness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and race, and speed, in seeking, toward, seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seeking the forgiveness of your Lord and seeking Jannah. The width, the heavens and the earth. Prepared for the mutaqi. It is prepared for the God conscious. Allahumma dina fi man hadayt. Wa aafina fi man aafayt. Wa tawallana fi man tawallayt. Wa barik lana fi ma aatayt. Wa fina sharra ma fadayt. Wa inna ka taqdi wa la yukda alayk. Inna hu la yadullu man walayt. Wa la ya'izu man aadayt. La barak talahu inna nasabaka ilman nafi'an. Wa rizqan tayyiban. Wa amalan mutakabbaran. Ya muqallib al-quloob. والأبصار ثبت قلوبنا على دينك يا مصرف القلوب والأبصار سدد قلوبنا على طاعتك وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأخر دوان عن الحمد لله رب العالمين أكمل الصلاة